Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. DGZ23 back again with some more ceramic coat in action. We're going to tidy up this big 2500 today. We got a lot of swirling going on and a pretty big body, so we got our work cut out today. We're going to try to flip this big baby around in a day and a half. We're going to try to do the decontamination process today. Pick up tomorrow and polish our behinds off and get this car coated up and returned to the customer. You know, we've also incorporated our basic de interior detail into the package. So we're going to go inside and tidy it up also. We got the Father's Day weekend here. So we're going to get this thing taken care of and back to the customer as quick as possible. So we can both enjoy ourselves on Father's Day. All right, guys, stay tuned for the show. As you all see, we got some pretty heavy contamination up here on the top, and it's pretty stubborn. I took a little quick shot at it with a power washer, and it quickly let me know I would be up here for quite a while. So I'll be concentrating on this pretty good for probably half an hour, 45 minutes, until it's spotless or pretty close, and then we'll pick up the rest with the clay bar. About to get back to power washing these wheels. which are pretty dirty up in here. You see how heavily contaminated all of that is. This is like some kind of cloth felt type material. And I've done one side and man, I mean, I spent quite a bit of time just washing and washing and washing. I'm gonna come back at the end after the wash pressure washing and hit it with a good scrub brush and some heavy soap and now to get it the rest of the way. This is the other side that's been completed, which looks pretty good. The front was even worse. It wasn't as big of a well with all the felt padding, but man, all the dirt just lands right there. I mean, it was just pouring, pouring, pouring out of there. So we're gonna take the other side. I'm gonna let y'all watch me while I do it.
guys it's been a fun field day here in the tent I haven't really had the luxury of filming today because I'm trying to push for time and return this back to the customer so we can enjoy our Father's Day weekend but so far we're making good progress none of this have been polished it's still already looking pretty good as you can see the swirls there we still have plenty more swirls to attack but we have done the other half of the car and we've done this door and we've done the bed as you can see they are mirror like no swirls in those we're gonna do a 50 50 with this door that's why I taped it off I'm gonna polish half of this door and I'm gonna come back and let you guys see the split difference because it's hard to kind of tell here but there is a shade difference as I polish I see a shade removed it's a little bit duller kind of more eggshell looking and this is just more snow white looking so we're gonna let you guys get even better view of a split look so when I come back we'll see the difference before I move on to the door I wanted to give you guys another view of the swirls and a panel without the swirls as you can see on the hood we got plenty of swirls up there looking like spider webs. We drop down to this panel and it's gone. Even more mirror like shine than up there, which up there is still pretty shiny, but up here is much more clarity. I guess this would be 720 and this would be 1080. So we're going to 1080 the whole ride. As you see, this side looks beautiful. All right, let's continue. Okay, so you guys know I'm always trying to give you better clarity on what's going on and exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to give you a little product review on what I'm using today. This is my favorite of all, my 3D one. It's a two-in-one. As you see at the top, it says it's a cutting compound and a finishing polish. It's a true paint correction compound. This thing cuts very, very well. And on top of that, it finishes down to a very nice shine, really good. I hardly ever have to use a second step. A lot of times when it's extremely bad, you'll have to use a strict cutting compound and then come back again with the finishing compound. This alleviates that. Even with my biggest jobs, I still do really good with this. And I'm pairing that up with my Max Shine Polisher. This is a dual action polisher, which means there's two actions. It oscillates and it spins. It rotates this way and it goes back and forth this way. This helps keeps heat off the panel. Heat is our enemy. You can burn through the clear coat and cause a lot of problems. The rotary polishers build up much more heat. You have to use a lot more quicker movements. And this thing is just a lifesaver. And this is actually 15 millimeters. So in this direction, it goes 15 millimeters, which is really good for cutting those heavy swirls. As you probably can see, I don't know if I can capture on camera. But I think here you may be able to see the swirls that are in there. That's what's going to do it. That action plus the grit that's in that compound. And to top it off, I'm gonna, I've am gonna i been pairing it with my Lake Country pad. You see, this is a hook and loop system. This Velcro is on really good, really easy. After that, I put me a few dots of my compound on there. And because this thing is so stiff, some of the other pads are much softer. This stiffness is going to allow me to push up against those swirls and allow that grit to do its work. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get it popping with this 50-50 split look. And we'll come back and see how we done. Let's see how good we can do displaying these swirls versus no swirls on this white paint. As you see, this is the half with the swirls. And you see the split really quick. No more swirls. Very, very minimal. Now 100%. Pop 
probably 90% correction. I think me and the customer will both be happy with that. That's a pretty good difference. So let's keep rolling, guys. Let's finish this thing up. results here but man 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 I'll tell you there was some delays dilemmas all kind of stuff I was pushing for time trying to get this thing turned around quick there's no such thing as quick with this not at all I probably spent about 13 hours with the polisher I mean all together we went over 20 hours I know but it's well worth it my customer's gonna be ecstatic I'm plenty happy about it I'm just ready for him to get it back and see his face, see his reaction when he sees it in person. And I was feeling a little generous. Plus, you know, things didn't go exactly the way we planned initially. So I wanted to do a bonus. You know, I try to go above and beyond for my customers any way I can. You know, if you can give a customer a bonus and make them smile, it just, it should make you feel good. So what I did was he went for the four year Deer Slick 1500. I went ahead and put the 1500 Extreme on here. So this is a nine year coating. Really it's a seven years guaranteed. It really will go up to 10 years. But this thing is sealed up for a long, long, long time. And this is one of the only, maybe the only oleophobic coating out there. So this thing will resist oils too. So I could throw a pint of oil up there and it just fall off the car. You know, not only will it repel water, it will repel oils. And it's capable of going on not just the paint, like some of the others. It can go on your glass and your lights also. Speaking of the lights, they were a little bit hazed up, not really bad. But I went ahead and just ran the polish over them real good. And they cleared up pretty nice. And they're sealed up also. So we got the lights sealed up. We got the glass sealed up and the paint. And... His trim around here is also protected too. So the car is looking pretty good. I think this was a hit. All right, guys, you know how we do at Bulletproof Bubbles. Come over here and let me take a picture of your car so it can stay that way for years to come. I'm out. And we got another hit, baby. You see that glorious, beautiful, white glowing 2500 there? Yeah, that was done by Bulletproof Bubbles. Come give us a visit. 